brings me to the next part of the conversation that we had last week when we were talking about this, which I just found completely amazing. You decided after two years to move away from the, the standard US school curriculum and you mentioned, you know, being in Turkey and being surrounded. I just, what I really loved about your, your, your thoughts around education isn't just from, you know, 8.30 to 3. Do you want to talk to that? Because I just love that, that concept of learning doesn't stop at a certain time. Right. Okay. So I kind of switched around. What I found is when you say this idea of school or it's time to learn or it's time to, you put it into a box and it's like, this is school time and oh good, school's over now we can have fun. And so the kids learn that um, school is not fun. And so I either at school or I'm having fun. But if you create a the atmosphere of that, it's all fun. It, and it's more of an exploration. That's kind of what we're thinking. It's more everything you do is exploring and learning in some way. So it could be whatever you do. So we, we create throughout our day uh, that learning is, is everything, whether it's going into a metro and looking at the sign on the board and figuring out how to navigate the metro system in a, in a country, in a, let's say London or, or Tokyo. And then you're, and then you're going to a, uh, to a, ancient site and you're giving them the map and telling them to find their way to this this or that and every little thing we do whether we're going on sightseeing or just mundane things it can be a learning experience and so we've kind of created this idea of exploring and everything can be exploring so it doesn't have to be during the school hours and so if you consider um anything they do is growing and expanding their mind in some way and really that's what school is it isn't always they're going to remember every detail i don't remember half the stuff I learned in school, what you learned in science or how to dissect a frog or whatever it may be, it's the idea of learning. It's the, it's the concept of, of learning how to learn. And so if, it doesn't have to be a school curriculum. It could be anything. And in fact, if you're doing something they find really interesting and you're creating a memory and an experience together, it sticks into the long-term memory way more than learning out of a book and having to regurgitate for a test you know, how you have to cram for tests, you'll forget that. But experience plus a fun memory together leads to long term. It sticks in the mind for years and years. And so um, if you make learning part of the experience, it sticks in there. And, and we can talk about things when my kids were five, they still remember because we made it the experience fun and, and we made it so memorable. We laugh about it. We talk about it and, and we have pictures and it, it sticks. And so um, that's kind of how well, we... I remember, I remember talking to you after... Um, so we probably left, I don't know, June, July um, in 2018. And you you guys went off. I think you were in London. You saw Hamilton, the stage show. And the next thing I know, yeah. you're doing you know, American history in America. You know, Trevor's got a, a passion for Hamilton. He's growing his hair out. And you're there yeah. learning and absorbing it. And that just blew me away. Like, how was that as an experience? Yes. Well, he, he my son is really into, he is very obsessed with certain things. And so we've created curriculum. He's created a curriculum around let's say his as a passion for Hamilton. So he created everything in Hamilton. He learned all about Hamilton and Jefferson and pretty much everyone that's in the musical. He researched, got books about it, the who is, you know, there's a whole series of books. He read all the books. He listened to the music. Then he wanted to know where are the different places, Yorktown, where is that? And he'd go on the map. He wanted to learn geography. Then he wanted to learn every detail around um, all the pathway from, you know, uh, from uh, New York to Washington and Virginia. And so we took a, we went to see Hamilton. He bought a costume. He sang the songs. We created a YouTube video. Then he grew his hair out. So he wore his costume with his hair in a ponytail to, to the theater in London. And then we flew to DC and we did an entire, uh, we followed along the journey. And so we had the Hamilton book and we, I mean, the Hamilton um, music and we had all the books that went along with it. And we went to all the different locations. And so it was just this, a course in American, the Revo American Revolution based on his passion. He was so excited that he wanted to go to the Capitol building. We, we, he went to the Declaration of Independence. He wanted to read it and he knew the words of it. And, and so because we took a love and we created learning around that love and that passion, he remembers everything. He is one of his favorite trips ever. And so that's the way we do it. It doesn't really matter what you're learning unless you're going to be, you know, maybe you have to know math, of course, and you have to know grammar, but other things, if they are passionate about it, I think it's better to let them follow that passion. If they're still learning something amazing, it's about the process of learning, not specifically the thing they're learning because they forget so much when they're forced to do something that they don't like. So let's